Hi Facebook, Jessica Alba here on the set of our new uh, next series of our Moments campaign. I want to introduce you to uh, my creative folks who came up with the campaign and you're going to meet our director. All right, so we're in the house where we're shooting. Um, hi guys. So uh, the campaign has been built around these honest moments, um, and I think what makes it so amazing is we never used a creative agency, we actually used all our own folks. So here's Joey and Molly, and Hi. Bridget, the director, Hi. And, uh, and we're going to talk about um, the campaign. <laughs> so. Hi, Bridget. Hi. <laughs> I'm just gonna. This is a savage call. <laughs> so, um, do you guys want to talk to us a little bit about uh, where you came up with this idea? Yeah, yeah. sure. I mean, it just kind of started as uh, a small product launch, and we started digging into it and started realizing that what we were talking about was really cutting to the core of what the company stands for and what we do. Do you want to tell people about your, your background, Joey? My yeah. background? Um, I've spent a lot of time in advertising, digital design. So um, you were like an ad agency guy. Yes. <laughs> As, <laughs> yeah. What about you, crazy. Molly Mall? <laughs> I am a writer, but I've written for fashion, beauty, lifestyle for years, and um, came in house for audits. And what is your background, Bridget? I am a film nerd that is now directing an honest commercial. Yay! <laughs> so you're director, writer. I'm a writer director, and I've done short films and music videos and then fashion films and then commercials. So and that's what I do now with missing pieces. And then what do you like about this and how is it different? How is it different? I love working for Honest. And not just because we're all standing here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it. I was really uh, impressed when I went and met with them. And just to get to do work directly with you guys and not through an what agency. What was it like when you got to meet with me? It was so great because you guys really cared. It actually did really matter to me. I was like, they really care and they have a mission and I felt... Like, it was very refreshing to work on something that felt like it was literally people trying to change the world, and I'm not even exaggerating. I'm just like, we're trying to do something good and trying to do it on our own terms and trying to sell a product that's better and more ethical. So I just really felt like I can sleep at night. <laughs> it's like really happy, and honestly, it's been so great working with you guys. So when it comes to doing ads for brands, like, do you... Do you think this feels different? Like, do you feel like this might be a different approach, or what is our aesthetic? Like, how how would how did you bring to life the sort of raw nature of um, what honest is about, and what we're trying to do, and what we're trying to achieve? Um, did you have to do it differently creatively? Yeah, um, I mean, well, and Tucker Walsh, the other director for the last campaign, was really involved, but um, we I really felt like um, we basically had a very face-to-face -face conversation and talked about the best way to do something. So there wasn't a lot of um, bureaucracy like there is sometimes with other companies. And I feel like you guys always chose stuff that was the best way to do it. And we always talked about making something feel authentic and trying to cast people that felt real and trying to capture moments that felt real and not trying to it wasn't the idea of something, and it wasn't the idea of a commercial, too. I feel like a lot of times people have this idea of what a commercial should look like, and this was us just trying to think, literally saying, well, not the idea of what a dinner party looks like, but what do our parties look like? Who do we know? What are people that we know? What do they care about? What are their so kids wearing? Right. All those so little weird decisions. So it's a little more, yeah, yeah. A little more raw, a little more real, Definitely more, more raw, candid. definitely more raw, and also just, I think, um, I think there was uh, an embrace of like design that we really were passionate about too, and just the way we shot it and stuff too. Yeah, totally. Down to the camera choices and stuff, we're like, let's make it beautiful and not feel like we have to do something. So I felt like it was very refreshing for me just to be able to communicate directly with you guys and yeah. Cool. Yeah. Is it weird talking to Facebook Live and seeing it yourself? It is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it just, you know, guys. It's a first. <laughs>
Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. I'm really excited for this next series of campaigns, and I love what we've what we've done so far in moments and capturing these these genuine moments in people's lives. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Okay. So let's get down to the moments. Like, what is it? Uh, like, why wouldn't we use an agency, and why would you guys choose to take on such a, a huge um, feat, really, internally? For I mean, you guys both have a lot of responsibility and day jobs, so this is yeah. even going outside of yeah. your day job and putting in hours above and beyond. Yeah. What I mean, is I, it about this? I think, first and foremost, we're parents. Joey and I are parents, um, and... And we're inside a brand that we believe in, and we live and breathe it every day. And so being inside allows you to really understand, like, like someone from the outside just couldn't possibly. And so we saw an opportunity to really speak to our customers in a way that showed that we got them, that we are just like them, and that we, you know, we're, we're proud of who we are at Honest, and we felt like this, this was a really beautiful way to share it with the world. And we're just so happy with the results. And the, and that it's being received in the way that it was, it, it is, because um, for us it came from a very genuine place. And that's that's how we really hoped it would translate. And what we did is we actually brainstormed with Christopher, myself, and parents on the creative team on our real life things that we experienced as parents that we didn't know would ever happen but uh, some of those things like you know walking out of the room with a sleeping baby and squeaking on a toy right. and like dear god please don't wake <laughs> up because you're so sleep deprived um, but also depicting birth stories the way that we did in such a beautiful and diverse way you know there isn't one right way to give birth and to bring a little person into this world and everyone is different and everyone should feel represented so whether you are in the hospital getting a c-section section or whether you are doing it at home in a tub you should feel like your birth story matters equally across the board because it's just about um, capturing that moment when you see that little munchkin, um, right? Yeah, it's pretty absolutely. much everything, right? And so how did you guys decide <clears throat> to use like real people's like, real genuine birth stories? It was versus... all about like, having a huge emotional impact. We felt like the way to do that was to capture raw, visceral emotion. And there's no way to manufacture that on a set. Like you see what a set looks like. There's no way you can fake that pure emotion of holding your baby for the first time, kissing your baby for the first time. So we were just utterly convinced that the right thing to do was to find real moments that that really happened and collect all of those into something and cut them into a narrative yeah. in a way that would feel really um, well put together, well thought out, but also have like a huge punch in the heart. And we felt like going through the birth videographers was the way to do that. Yeah. Now, how do you guys feel about um, the music, like tying, <coughs> excuse me, all the moments together? I think it's beautiful. I mean, I, to have a connective thread that makes it feel like, you know, this is one cohesive campaign that um, every little bit, even though some might be funny and lighthearted, some might be more sweet, some might be more emotional, um, that it all feels like it's coming from the same universe was really important to us. And so when Will I Am offered so generously to, to contribute that to this piece, I mean, I think we were humbled by his generosity and also really happy to have something that felt like it could, eat, it could amplify it that much more. Um, yeah, it was just—it was a really cool process to be able to work with someone that is a world-class musician that really knows what he's doing, um, and to, to come in and give Honest a, its own sonic signature was super interesting. And his rationale behind the choices he made in the music was really well thought out. You know, he wanted to use organic instruments; it's all brass and woods and humans making sounds. There's no synthetic sounds in the spots, and we felt like that was really on brand for us. It was the right thing to do. Um, and Will was just really cool to work with, super collaborative, his studio is incredible, his team was great. What was it like being at the future? <laughs> Yeah. It, the future surreal. is Will's office. It's so dope. It's it was the surreal. The future is so bright. <laughs> <laughs> it was bright white and super fresh. Um, wow. Do we have any questions? Uh, 
Thank you, Demetra. Hi, Ashley. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, let's see. Oh, Carrie Lynn. Girl, I cry. I still cry every time. It takes you back to that moment. Like, literally, you're like, <gasps> like, oh, it just comes, like, like, um, I don't know, it's like a scent sometimes takes you back to a time in your life. Seeing that moment when you see that first cry, when you see the, you know, what happens right before, and then seeing the baby for the first time. I, I totally agree. Um, yeah, anyone that's been there just, it brings them so quickly back to that spot. Yeah. Can I tell you something really amazing too? So after laboring over this literally for months and months, um, poor Joey had to actually miss the shoot because his daughter was being born. Yeah, so but that's so how awesome. awesome is that? It was appropriately poetic for sure. Well, the best possible reason, but we've got him here this time for the next batch of moments and we're so excited to keep giving you what feel like honest moments for us and for you and we're so appreciative of the feedback thus far. It's been so incredibly rewarding to see something that we believe in so much be received in this way so thank you really yeah thank you guys for all of your support um and thank you guys for being oh, such a great team thank you. <laughs> and for kicking butt every day we try uh, you know you know what i've done the best as an entrepreneur so far hire really smart dope people <laughs> i think that's the one thing i can say i can sleep at night because they're so fresh so um thank you We're guys so fresh. Thank they're being you. so fresh all right i feel like i need to have sugar okay so i'm going to take you guys to the craft service table which is will be the death of, death of me because all i want to do is eat sugar for some reason um, so I'm going to take you guys. Do you want to go see the craft service table? I don't even care if you want to. I'm going to take you. Let's do this. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. <laughs> All right, we're going to go see. This is wardrobe yes. slash garage. <laughs> We're very, uh, you know, you have to use up all the spaces. You want a set? It's so weird being on a set that I'm not actually, um, I'm working behind the camera. It's so fun. I should like do this more often. Um, okay, so they have something healthy or something unhealthy that probably has like some bad things in it that Christopher Gavigan will get mad at me. So don't tell him. I'm eating a red wine. All right. So that's it. That's craft services. <laughs> Very boring. I don't even know why I'm throwing you guys out. Um, well, this is the Moments Campaign. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, peace out from sunny Southern California. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Later, skaters.